We're gonna try to repurpose this tub and make a brooder out of it. See, the problem is our bucket tra tractor is out of commission right now because it needs tires. And actually, the reason it needs tires is because we uh, blew the big one on a cow school. The other ones weren't rusty like this? Not like this. Wow. Well, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> so it's getting kind of late on us, so I am making, getting ready to make dinner. And we'll figure it out. I'm gonna get some of this basil. Put on our chicken tonight. Dan is chopping potatoes into pieces. Jacob picked me up a pack of chicken thighs at the store. I wanted fresh so I didn't have to, I know the lazy part of me didn't want to have to defrost chicken because I didn't get it out in time. We brushed a little, or I spread it with my hand, a little bit of olive oil onto the baking sheet. And now I'm just putting chicken. I don't do this very often and I don't know why I don't do it more because it's pretty easy. Okay, now this is the seasoning that I'm using. I love using it because it is gluten-free. In fact, every seasoning I've bought from them is gluten-free and they are really good. So we got some olive oil on the chicken. There's some basil. It looks delicious. And now we're gonna pop it in the oven for, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour maybe? Till it's done. We are gonna try candling these eggs to see if we have any ticks. Oh, that looks like. Look at it moving. Oh. I don't see anything in there. You see the, see the dark? I see the head right here. Oh, yeah. I see that one doesn't uh, yeah, oh. see that. Now that's I a very porous difference. egg. See the okay. porousness? Yeah, there's nothing yeah there. I see the difference. That's not a good egg to use. We need so a bucket. we need to get that one out of there, right? That's interesting. You know, we don't want it to blow. Hmm. Oh, that one? Oh, is... yeah. That one's a good egg, too. Oh, my gosh. It's moving. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Look at it. Oh, that's that's cool. So cool. That's a lively one. So we have 37 eggs that have chicks in them, which is really good. We had five, sadly, that did not. So we're trying to decide, do we move forward with this tub somehow? Or do we do something else? Um, we can cut the tub. We can cut the, the bad metal out of it pretty easily. We really don't want to spend a lot of money is the deal. We want to try to... We wanted to try to use what we have on the property. It's rusted pretty high up. I mean, rusted completely out. <laughs> what were you saying about the bottom? We could cut the bottom rusty part off. And Would that still, leave us enough, though? Enough tub? I mean, the chicks are only going to be about this tall when we take them out of it and put them into the coop with the other chickens.
You want me to try to help you? <laughs> no. Put my camera down, lady, and help your husband. I don't think I was just seeing if the dirt would come out. It's pretty bad. We've talked about getting a plastic tote at the store. A couple plastic totes. And we've talked about getting what is it, an IBC tote? An IBC tote. IBC tote. Which they're cheap. Mm hmm they're really cheap and they got quite a bit of room i think we just have to travel a little bit to get it right yep just up to springfield about yeah. an hour we also have this black rubbermaid and i wish this thing um, wasn't broke it's broken but you said we could fix that yeah i could put it back to i could put it semi back together at least and get the crack out of the bottom <laughs> And then we could just put a piece of hardware cloth right here. So that's an option. So now we're discussing this tire. <laughs> it worked. Uh, I think it would work too. Is there any, um, and this is going to sound, this may sound stupid, but is there any kind of chemical or anything on the inside of that tire that would hurt the chicks? Probably lots of chemicals. Yeah, but we can clean it out. But no, are they going to have residual fumes no, or anything? Be anything no. in here that would... No, nothing Arm like them. that. We would want to clean it. We'll clean the debris um, out of it. But how are you going to close the gap underneath it to keep stuff from getting in? Well, we could put it on a piece of plywood. Nothing's going to be able to lift this up. So if, as long as yeah, if they can't it dig up. underneath it, it's not going nowhere. I mean, I'm all for it if you guys think it'll work. We could get a pallet. Yeah. And set this thing right down on top of a pallet that has a piece of plywood, plywood on, on top. A cardboard on top? Not cardboard, but plywood. plywood. Do we plywood. have any thin plywood still? Yeah, we got lots. Isn't there a pallet over there with plywood on top of it? Hey, hey, the base for my old um, grow tent over there in the trailer. Yeah. It's still put together. And it's still got... <laughs> we can put this right on top of that. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. And just like that, we have a plan. We're on our way to town to get a few supplies for the chicken brooder. We're going to make a quick trip to Orschlands and pick those things up so we can get that built out and ready to go. for a fun afternoon? Yeah? <laughs> I got you a new toy. Looky there. Yeah. All right. How is it? He's like, okay, let's go, guys. This is Jim Bob. He used to be my alpha rooster. Chickens have an alpha rooster and an omega rooster. The alpha is the boss. He gets the most hens. Uh, he bosses the other roosters around. <laughs> He's generally the best rooster. He's the pet. As the alpha roosters get older, the younger roosters and the later generations of chickens will basically try to challenge him to take the title. And uh, basically that's what happened. Normally he wins, but this time a couple of them ganged up on him. And now my other younger rooster, which is his son, Brutus, he won. Once they have claimed the title, these guys are as good as dead. They will try to kill him or chase him off. and. So they're really not letting him even back into the flock. But I want to keep him because I like him as a rooster in the way he looks. Um, so I'm going to, I made another hutch. I'm going to put him in this hutch, a separate little chicken coop that I can move around and keep him on fresh grass. And I'm going to put a few of my best hens in with him and use it as a breeding hutch.
hardware cloth. Yes. We had this tree that used to leak sap in the front yard in Arnold. And the yellow jackets liked that tree. She got chased inside by a swarm one time from in her yard when she was mowing. I can see it. They're just ruthless little animals. She was mowing and they came up out of the ground. She literally had to run for her life. Better create some stuff to eat. Here. A black hornet? So this will keep critters from. First baby. It's even got a shell on it still. <laughs> oh, poor little thing. Okay, Molly. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Molly. They are not for you. Trying to get others to come out and play. Why did the cow go to the daughter? Because she was utterly exhausted. No. <laughs> I cut the cow. I cut the cow. Hair was gone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. No. <laughs> we can play in the kai. A call. <laughs> Not e. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Fashioning a hook. I'm trying to see if I can create a cool little hook here. We have hooks on the side now. Are you tired, Dan? You sound tired. I'm always tired. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Woohoo! We have lights. We just need and to get heat. an extension cord over there. Oh, poor Sacrifice. Chuck. Sacrifice. Oh. Sacrifice. Guys. Sacrifice. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. No, we out of here, guys. Clean that up a little bit, and then you just take this through. We're getting ready to get the chicks that have hatched out of the incubator. We have quite a few. How many do we have? 
18 to 20. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, put them in a box and transfer them up to the brooder. We've got it heated and ready to go. Oh my gosh. Look at the little, out. look at the rolls on that one. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. struggling. <laughs> I kind of like this better than oh I do guys. ordering them. So far. Look how cute they are. Poor little thing. She doesn't look the greatest. No, she not. She's a cutie. Look at all those babies. She's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> They're like, oh girl. <laughs> She's like, really? <laughs> If you want to see how we incubated our chicken eggs, be sure and watch this video next. I'll see you guys next time.